Work out the first three terms of ur is r minus 2 times r squared, and hence find the sum from r as 1 to n of ur, i.e. find the first sum of the first n terms of this. Check your answer for the sum using n is equal to 3. Okay, so first of all, we've got ur is r minus 2 times r squared. This is a cubic, because r times r squared makes r cubed. So u1 will be 1 minus 2 times 1, so it will give me minus 1. And then u2 will be 2 minus 2 times 2 squared, which will give me 0. And u3 will be 3 minus 2 times 3 squared, which will give me 9. Right, the first three terms then are minus 1, 0 and 9. So the sum of the first n terms of this will be the sum of r minus 2r squared from r to 1 to n, which will be the sum from r to n of multiplying out r squared, r, r times r squared gives me r cubed, and then minus 2r squared. And then separating, separating up the sigma sign, we get sigma r cubed minus, and we take the 2 out, sigma from r to 1 to n of r squared. Right. Writing that out again, and now we need to use some standard results. So the sum of the cubes from r to 1 to n is 1 quarter n squared times n plus 1 squared. Again, this will be proved later in a later video. And then sigma r squared from r to 1 to n is 1 sixth n n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. That was introduced in the previous video. So, replacing this will become 1 quarter n squared times n plus 1 all squared, minus 2 brackets of 1 sixth n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1. Uh, the 2 and the 6 will cancel, and we're left with 3. Now, looking at 4 and 3, if we take out 1 twelfth, that will make it much easier for us. We can take out an n, and we can also take out an n plus 1. Okay, that's going to need. I'm going to need I have to put a three in, in order to when I take that back in, I get a quarter, and we've got one of these ends left, and we've also got an n plus one. Here, I'm going to need to put a four in, so it's minus four. In brackets, uh, two n plus one because the n plus one is gone. Okay, so that's going to give me one twelfth n times n plus one. Multiplying out that bracket gives me 3n squared plus 3n minus 8n plus, oh sorry, minus 4, minus times the plus is minus. Just be careful with the signs. Okay, so it gives me 1 n n plus 1, 3n squared, and then we get minus 5n minus 4 as our answer. Right, now we need to check that. So for n is equal to 3, minus 1, 0, and 9. If we add that together, we get 8. If we put n into 3 into here, hopefully we'll get 8. So 112 of 3, 3 plus 1, 3 times 3 squared, minus 5 times 3, minus 4. That gives me 112 times 3 times 4. Uh, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, minus 5 times 3 is minus 15, minus 4. The 12 and the 3s will cancel out, and then if we do 27 minus 15 minus 4 will give me 8. So that agrees with that, and therefore this seems to be uh, correct, okay? But there is a way of actually proving it later. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the sum of a cubic. Uh, I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.